Bath. Just coming on with the project share with some of our stencils. So just showing your first embossing folder. I pre-embossed um, some 210 GSM cardstock with the oval frame embossing folder. I just love that. So basically this is our bat stencil and I'll link it below. And what I'm wanting to do is not do any bats in the circle, but I'm wanting to do bats all around the edge of the frame. Just to sort of put a border on it. I could have cut the inside out and stuck it on if I'd stenciled the entire piece, but I was trying to be cheating today and do it the easy way. So you can see our bat stencil is really easy to line up and you can do an extended line of bats. So my card, or my stencil is um, just under 6 inches in size. We make them 145 millimeters. Um, and the card is obviously larger than that. So you can use the pattern as a repeating pattern, which is really cool. So using Tim Holtz Distress Inks, um, I believe I'm using Black Soot at the moment. I've got Seedless Preserves, and I can't read the name of the other one up there. Um, I believe it might be Wild Honey. I don't know. It could be a grey one. Um, if you are desperate to find out the colours, I will go and find them out and link them below as well, or list them below. So I love Halloween. It's my favourite time of year. Um, it's getting bigger and bigger here in Australia. Um, each year there's more and more stuff. I just, I love it. It's just a quirky... I'd love Halloween to be every year. Um, we often do Halloween events. I've taken my daughter to Hello Scream in Sydney, which is at Luna Park, and that was so much fun. I wish we could go to Sydney this year. So adding some yellow over the top. So wanting to um, blend the colours. If you blend it through the stencil, you can get it quite dark, and then you can blend it lightly over the top and get, with the same colour, a two-tone effect. So this is our spiderweb stencil. So it's got spiderwebs in several sizes and as you can see you can move it and turn it and line it up and make a bigger spiderweb. So again I'm wanting to not put spiderwebs in the circle frame but wanting to fill in the entire background of the card. And I can actually flip the stencils reverse so they don't actually have a right and a wrong side so I can actually reverse it here to add to the bottom which works really really well. The stencils are so easy to line up. I love how that's worked out. So just filling in the circle with some misty grey and then I do go around the edge of this one as well. I did get a big blob of colour into the grey section, into that oval section, but I will fix that later. So just basically wanting to show off our new ho or our Halloween stencils that were newly released last year and give you some ideas of how you can use them differently. I've used these same Halloween stencils in a off the page project which you'll see either before or after this one. Um, if it is before I will link it below and this is a different way to use stencils. So if you've never used a stencil before you can use them with texture paste, with inks, with paints, with gesso, with basically any medium you can put onto paper or onto cardboard or onto chipboard you can put through a stencil. Sometimes you get better results than others but I like to experiment and they're awesome on your gel plate as well. So this is our um, creepy hand stencil, our zombie hands. So a lot of our designs we actually have on the website repeated. So this is our zombie hand stencil, we've got zombie hands in chipboard and we've got large zombie hand tags. So you can use the same elements over and over on your project in different styles and sizes. So I believe I'm using Seedless Preserves here. I love this one with the purple hands. It's just awesome. While I'm just inking up that one, we do have a custom made service as well. If you do find something on the website that you want to use for a project and it's too big or too large, um, if it's too small, email us and we can custom make a piece that will suit your project. A lot of our shapes can be made smaller and larger. Sometimes small is a bit more difficult, but it doesn't hurt to ask. The worst I can say is no. I don't say no very often. I may say let me think about it a while and let me work out how to do it, but the answer is never no. So just going around and adding a bit of black around the edge. I do apologise for the shakiness of the camera. I am trying to get a better setup for my tripod. At the moment I'm working on a trestle table. A very dirty trestle table. I should have put a piece of paper down. It's well loved. Well crafted on my trestle table. Um, 
and my camera is attached to the trestle so unfortunately I do when I wobble the table the camera does wobble so I do apologize for that so this particular one I'm using I believe this might be wild honey um, going around the edge and inking up color before I stencil on top of it because I'm going to use my pumpkin stencil now my pumpkin stencil is just pumpkin faces so you don't actually get the outside pumpkin shape and it looks really really cool so I'm adding the yellowy color first and then I will stencil pumpkins on top So here is our pumpkin faces and I just love this stencil, it's one of my favourites for Halloween, it's just, it makes amazing background paper. You can make pastel pumpkins, you can make the traditional orange in the background, you could do black and white, there's so many different possibilities. As I said, I love this one. And you can also line up the faces or just keep adding them wherever you'd like. They are spaced out so you can just do one pumpkin face at one time so I decided to go in and add a bit more smudgy black mainly because I've got a smudge where I didn't want it but that's okay there's no mistakes in arting and crafting is there you just slightly change your idea then I wanted that middle frame to stand out so I grabbed the ink pad and just give it a light tap because it is embossed it will stand out and it, the embossing the raised portion of it will catch the ink pad and I just inked the edges as well so just giving it um, a lovely look I'm so in love with these cards card making is not my forte I am learning and I am getting better at card making I just find little projects freak me out for some reason give me a much bigger project and I'm as happy as Larry just showing off the four different ones I did so these are the backgrounds and then I bring in some stamps we need some elements on here so unfortunately we don't use any more of my shop products but I decided to leave this footage in to show you how the completed cards are. So these are just some stamps I got was lucky enough to be sent by a friend in America. They're actually little wooden block stamps from your Michael's store which is like our spotlight. If you haven't heard of Michael's in America um, and your Aussies, it's like our spotlight store but on steroids. It's massive. I've been to one when I was over in America. Awesome. Um, I'd love to go back to America again around Halloween, that would be so cool. So just, um, I did take these stamps off wooden blocks and put them onto foam, um, the foam, that cling foam, I'm trying to think of the name of it, um, so they're just easier to use. And I love my Tim Holtz um, stamping platform. It just makes stamping so much easier. You can directly line up your stamp and if you don't get a perfect shot the first time you can simply go over it again and just using some clear stamps and I'm not sure what brand these stamps are. So you can see I didn't get a real clear spider. And unfortunately stamping on a trestle table it's very hard to get a good impression the first time. Just some more unbranded stamps from um, an overseas company. I love the skull and crossbones. I could have definitely um, embellished these cards with our chipboard. We do have a range of shapes in chipboard that would have suited as well, but I wanted to post these cards, so I decided to keep them quite flat in their um, bulkiness for the mail. They are approximately A5 size cards, so they will cost a couple of bucks to post, or a couple of dollars. Um, but, and this one is, I believe, a recollection stamp set as well. I got a friend to get me overseas as well. I love this skeleton. So you can certainly use our chipboard to embellish your cards as well, and I'll have loads more videos, hopefully coming up very soon. I promise I'll be more regular with videos. Just life tends to get in the way. And I have in being endeavouring the end of this year, the next three months is going to be very hectic in my work life. I have to get my website up to date. That is my goal for the first of January next year. So stay tuned for lots of um, new release and catch up release videos for um, new products that I have released at the last shows in the last couple of years but just haven't made it to the website yet. It's a very monotonous and boring job and it's not one of my favourite jobs but I just have to have to do it. 
So just stamping out, and as you can see, I can stamp multiple times with the Tim Holtz um, stamping platform, which is awesome. So just cleaning up my stamps with a baby wipe before I put them away in the package. Just giving the stamped images a bit of a dry before I go on and add some colour. Now I bring my cards back in and I'm deciding what images I want to go where and this will determine what colours I then use on top of them. I obviously decided very quickly. I'm obviously going to do some direct stamping. What is it I've got? I think I've got a house at the moment. No, it's a tree. Sorry. I, when I'm editing, I edit on a laptop that has a quarter of the size of the screen when I'm doing a voiceover and sometimes it's a bit hard to see. And I did make these cards um, last month. So unfortunately between filming a filming and making a project and getting to editing, sometimes there is a little bit of time in between and I do forget. I'm dreadful. I film that many videos for different purposes. So just grab some alcohol markers. These ones are from Aldi. Just a basic set. I don't do a lot of blending and colouring. Basically just wanted to give them a bit of colour each. I would love to be able to copy colour correctly, but A, I didn't use the correct type of paper, and B, I just don't have the patience for that, to be honest. So just working out what colours I want where. I mainly got these alcohol markers so I can just give pieces of um, little stamp images like this a little bit of colour for my projects. I didn't want to go all out and give them sort of all shaded. A lot of them have a lot of detail in them anyway. And I did want the stenciling and the inking on my card to be the main focal point. I wanted these little images just to be the accent points. I love that little spell book there. It's awesome. Unfortunately the embossing folder I have used is a company or they discontinued it several years ago so unfortunately can't find that Pacific Frame one but I'm sure if you search embossing folders on the internet you will find a similar one with a frame. Or you could easily do a chipboard frame. We've got several chipboard frames on our website that would um, you could construct the same sort of idea around the card. Unfortunately quite a few of my personal supplies that I do use in my videos are unfortunately not available anymore because they are quite old. Um, and I do apologise for that. But certainly the ones that are available, our stencils are the main focus of what we're using today. They are available and I will link them below. So in the magic of video editing, I have fussy cut all my images out and now I'm using some thin foam tape just to give them a little bit of dimension. As I said, these are cards I'm going to post. So I didn't want to add a very thick dimensional tape to them. Otherwise here in Australia, if a card reaches over two centimetres thick, it there becomes a parcel. And unfortunately the postage jumps from about $2 to $8. So we didn't want to do that, and I may include some goodies in with these cards, so I want to allow room for that as well. So just decorating each of the cards. These are a bit tiresome trying to pull all the backing off the foam tape, which is a bit tedious. And then I decided to mount them onto a black card. So the black card I'm using is just cardstock I grab at Officeworks just in a big bundle. It's 210 GSM and it works really well for card bases. You can also use pre-bought card bases as well. So I'm probably using a bit too much foam tape now looking back on this, but I did want the card to the card front to actually stay on the card. And because this foam tape is quite thin, it's about half the size of regular foam tape, it grips really nicely and it's very sticky stuff. Sometimes I do add extra glue over the top, but I don't believe I did that in this case. Getting those edge bits off is always fun. Has anyone got a tip of how to get the backing off? Oh, I do add extra glue. Oh, basically, um, adding extra glue where the where the um, 
double sided tape wasn't so it does adhere to the card quite flat. So just um, doing all four cards. I love how these cards turned out. I love how the backgrounds turned out as well. They just look awesome. So these cards didn't take me that long. A bit of inking on the background, a few stamped images, and you can make amazing cards. Oh, I've actually got my pokey tool to hopefully assist me get off getting off those back bits, and it does assist me a little bit. I like this skull and crossbones, it's very cute. So I think I've already talked about our custom service on our website. We can also do custom names while you're just watching me stick paper to paper basically. So we can do a lot of custom names, we can do custom places. Basically the only thing we can't do is trademark items. So for example, I can't make the word and I'll use one of our sporting clubs for an example, is Melbourne Football Club, because those three words all joined together is a trademarked word. So as long as we stay away from trademarked and copyrighted words and images, um, we can make just about anything out of chipboard and stencils and foam stamps. And we can even make the same image out of all three. I am looking at doing some foam stamps next year in the Halloween range. just working on other designs at the moment. And life has other places for me to be at the moment. Does anyone find that life is interrupting your crafting and your working? I find that a lot. So just using a regular glue stick just to add a bit more sticky over the top. And also I found adding the glue gives me a little bit of wiggle room on the card while I'm positioning it. I have a horrendous time trying to get things straight and I will be honest and a lot of my videos are very honest. Um, so I find putting that little bit of glue over it, now I remembered why I did it, is it gives me a little bit of slide room um, to be able to slide it into place um, and it allows me to pick it up also if I stick it on crooked. I love the spell book and the rest in peace sign, the tombstone. So just finishing them up, I believe this is the third card, so we've got one left to go. I do have some close-up still photos, or still photos, close-up photos at the end, just to show off the cards, because sometimes it is a little hard to see them, especially I have sped this video up three times, otherwise it would be quite a lengthy video. I may film some videos in the future in real time, um, apart from cutting out all the boring bits like the drying and all that sort of stuff. Um, with me chatting along as I work, but I do find that a bit more difficult to actually work and chat. I don't know about anyone else. Let me know if anyone else does YouTube videos and finds it a bit hard to actually concentrate on your project while chatting to chatting along. It's a skill I have to learn. So at the moment I can just sit back and relax and watch the video and do the voiceover. <laughs> Love Mr. Skeleton there, and I've got the word beware, and he's got a book, and he's got a potion bottle, so he's all set for his adventure. I just love the purple scary hands, that's really cool. So these bottom couple I didn't actually put foam tape on, but I do go and put foam tape on the skeleton just to give it a bit of dimension. The potion bottle and the book I wanted sort of in the background, and then I wanted the skeleton to sort of stick on top. So I do thank you for sticking around and watching nearly to the end of my videos, or hopefully stick around to the end. I'm hoping to be a bit more, and I may have said this before, I forget what I say in the videos, I'm hoping to be a bit more regular with content on this channel, but life lately has just core pulled me in different directions, but hopefully life will be nice to me now, and will allow me to get a bit more work done, a few more products on my website, and a few more products of me playing. I do have a backlog of videos I have filmed with new products and doing them on scrapbook pages and on layouts and different things, so I just now need time to sit and edit them. If you do YouTube videos yourself, you know editing is the bugbear of all YouTubers. It can take quite a while. 
to get it finished and to get videos put together. So I thank you for watching and leave me any questions or comments below and um, let me know if you want any more details on things. Unfortunately a lot of the stamps I have used in these videos are quite old as I said previously and I may not be able to point you in the right direction. Unfortunately um, a lot of things with Halloween are seasonal so unfortunately if you can manage to get them this year, unfortunately you can't get them next year and they're just not available um, whether they're Australia or overseas tends to be a bit like that with Halloween and Christmas. The ranges come out for a short period of time and then they disappear. So you've got to grab something when you see it. Let me know any products you'd like to see used. If you do see a particular product on our website that we can do a video tutorial on or show you different ways of using it, let us know. Always open to suggestions, so comment below and we will catch up with you again. There's the four cards and I'll leave you with the, video, uh, the photos at the end that give you a little bit more detail of them. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again in another video. Bye for now.